All right, so what you're seeing here and what you're going to see on loop uh, throughout this video is a new game announced by Nintendo. This is essentially their dreams, right? If you guys remember dreams from PlayStation 4, it's user-created games. You can make your own games, all that jazz. Uh, they have now enabled you to do that with Switch. Now, what's interesting here is that technically this game isn't new per se, they had this garage style mode to make your own games on Labo VR. So they had this very, very similar game building mechanic uh, already in another game. The problem is, of course, that Labo VR is stupidly expensive uh, for what you get. So a lot of people didn't actually experience it. Now, they did clearly add some new tools to it to make it more effective and make you able to create more complex games as you'll see here in a moment uh they do have guided lessons for some of these simplistic things like you could do in labo vr but there's more complex games you can make as well uh you'll, you'll see in a moment you'll see some like old you know, like asteroid style games um you know some obviously yeah, like here, here's here's one, one kind of game that could exist um here's a platforming game and i'm not exactly sure how the art uh it works for it but it looks like you know you draw your own you can draw your own pixel art there they just announced tuna cube factory 2 uh so it, it, it's a very interesting game making uh thing i don't know that it's as in depth as dreams uh where you could literally make full-on action rpgs in that game but it definitely is a simplistic game builder as it calls a game builder garage that works and one thing i wanted to mention before I get into uh, further thoughts on this, is that sometimes you guys, some of you out there, not all of you, a majority of you are fantastic, but there's some of you out there that complain, oh, oh man, why the heck, Nate, why are you doing more rumor videos, why this, this exact game was teased in a video by me two months ago, where I had a source that was saying hey guess what there's one last hurrah for labo they might not call it labo because they're kind of dumb with it and this game literally is using the aesthetic and actual characters from labo it clearly was a labo game and this was confirmed by imran khan uh, who used to work at game informer on twitter where he noted hey every time i've heard about this game in the past it was simply called labo 05 now Nintendo is probably done using the Labo brand because Labo did not sell very well. Uh, they couldn't get the thing off store shelves. I know it's a little bit harder to find today, but that's because it's been out of production for a long time. Nintendo Labo, Nintendo Labo VR, and all the associated kits, just, it didn't go over well for Nintendo, as neat as those things were. They were just really expensive. You know, trying to tell people you need to spend, you know, $100 plus dollars on cardboard, it's difficult. Yeah, Nintendo released the plans and all that, and you can just, you know, try to make it out of your own cardboard. It's just much more complicated if you don't have the proper serrated edge cardboard and all that jazz. Not everybody is good at serrating their own edges on cardboard or even have the proper tools to do that. So this is obviously a way to teach people how to make games, uh, a way to teach people how to be creative, uh, kind of get into a little bit of game development. They're very simple tools, so you're not going to get deep into programming or stuff like that, but you can get a fundamental understanding for how video games work, how controllers work, how this is going to work. I think we're going to see a ton of interesting creations. The game is only $29.99, and if it's available to pre-order right now, which it probably is because it's coming out on June 11th, and there will be a physical version of it. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description as well if you would like to go pre-order that. I just find this to be a wholly fascinating thing that Nintendo's kind of borrowing on an idea they had in Labo VR, borrowing on something that PlayStation did with Dreams, well, Media Molecule really did with Dreams, and then just kind of making it more accessible, I would say, to a broader audience. That's what I find really interesting about this. And obviously, the last hurrah for Labo, if there's one thing we got out of Labo, we did get a game creator out of it. One that existed already, but is now further fleshed out and obviously not built for VR. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of neat that one of my old rumors, basically, this is the confirmation of it. It happened. It's real. If you guys wonder why I post those rumors and leaked videos, it's because a lot of the stuff I talk about tends to come true. And I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm just pointing out that I don't cover every leak and rumor that exists on the planet. 
Oh my gosh, I ignore so many. But I do pick up the ones that I feel have some merit. And I feel they have merit based on where the information comes from. And here we go again. Another one came true. So stay tuned, folks, because tomorrow we have a new episode of the Nintendo Prime Podcast coming on. Game Over Jesse's going to be on it. Maybe one other guest. Uh, but for, for now, for sure, Game Over Jesse's going to be on. And we're going to be going over one of the biggest batch of information about what Nintendo is doing, whether it's the Switch Pro, whether it's E3, whether it's the Zelda 35th anniversary, etc., from basically the most reliable source of information on the internet for Nintendo leaks. You guys, if you've been watching my videos, you know who that is. And let's just say there's been a lot of deep conversations happening, and now I get to bring this information forward and talk to it with my friends on the podcast. I might split some of that stuff off in its own videos, especially if uh, Samus Hunter 2, I'll just say right now, ends up being correct about what Nintendo's doing at E3 when Nintendo announces their E3 plans, either this week or next week. But that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully uh, you guys are looking forward to this game. I, I do think it looks really neat. I am interested in it. Maybe we'll give away a copy or two during E3. We'll see. Our E3 giveaway is massive already. Why the hell not add more to it? Are you guys interested in this game? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, hey, if you want to help us out with the YouTube algorithm, why not drop a like on this video? A comment helps as well. Also, subscribe for more content. You're going to want to at least show up for our E3 coverage, if nothing else, because we are going to have over 300 different people winning a prize during E3. We're talking Switch consoles. We're talking accessories. We're talking games. We're talking gift cards. There's going to be a lot of crazy stuff going on. You're not going to want to miss it. So tune in. All right, folks. I'm Nathan RoboJets from Nintendo Prime with this quick update on a brand new game coming from Nintendo the day before E3. Catch you guys in the next video.